What up, what up, what's the B word, man? I'm Anthony Addison with another segment of What's the B word. Like and subscribe to the page. Hit me up on Instagram, What's the B word, 52, just like you see on YouTube. Hit me up on Facebook, What's the B word. And you can hit me up on Twitter, B word 52. And y'all already know, man. Baltimore Raven fan, Raven Nation stand up, flock, let's get it. And if you're new to this YouTube channel and you might not be a Raven fan, you might be a Saints fan, you might be a Texas, a Titan, or whoever. Still hit the subscribe button, man, because we talk football up in here, baby. And um, tonight, I got a mailbag question. So, you know, I haven't did a mailbag question in a while, and I'm excited. You know, y'all keep hitting me up for mailbag questions because, you know, a mailbag question is when you um ask me about uh, NFL player, NFL team, any NFL player or team, or a college player or team. And I'll post a video and um tell you my tr um, true opinion about it. So, anyway... The mailbag question today is from my man Eric White. He, he messaged me on Twitter and he said, What's up, man? What do you think about the safety Grant Grant Delpit from LSU? I think he will be a great fit for us next year. Young, physical, can play zone, also man coverage at a high level. I think he, his future is very bright. And um, shout out to Eric, man, for coming in me, man, with this mailbag question, man. Um, how I feel about Delpit? Grant Delpit, I can't pronounce his name right. Uh, <laughs> um, if y'all didn't know, I'm an SEC guy myself. I'm a Mississippi State Bulldog, and you know I, I, I keep my you know I keep my eyes close on SEC talent. And um, Grant is like one of the best safeties in the SEC, if not one of the best safeties in the country. Um, as far as like what I see from him, I mean. Another thing is you can't go wrong with getting a, a, a defensive back from, from LSU. For the most part, those defensive backs in LSU, they play, they play pretty well. They some, they some good players. From, from past history, they play pretty well. So you, you can't really go wrong with it. You know, from what I see with Grant, um, he plays the ball. Like, man, he plays the ball well. Like, he tracks that ball. Like, whew. If you, if y'all haven't go check out the go check out his highlights and stuff like that. He plays the ball well. He's usually never out of place. He can come up and tackle. He, he I just seen him make some you know some physical tackles and um uh, man when he come when he when he lock on he coming he shoot like a cannon man. You see the speed on this guy. So he can really really play ball man. He look he got a long range. You know what I'm saying I don't know his height and weight like that. But I'm talking about when I talk about range I'm talking about um field range. He got long field range, like he, he can he can eat up grass fast. He can eat up grass fast. Um, I'm typing in to see his height and weight. I didn't I didn't check that. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, uh, I can't find. Oh, okay, he's six foot three, one hundred ninety five pounds. So that's a big boy out of Houston, Texas, man. He went to IMG Academy. Uh, you know they they only get the good guys over at that school right there, um, at that high school. If y'all not familiar with IMG, but um, six foot three, one hundred ninety five pounds, man, that's a pretty big dog on safety right there. And like I said, he um he looked like he can lay the boom. From what I've seen, from you know, well I'm I'm gonna let you know. I'm I'm gonna find out pretty pretty soon anyway because they play Mississippi State tomorrow. But um, the thing is. Should will we should we be able to, to answer the question? Should we draft him? The thing is, wh like, where can we draft him? Like, as in far as like with you know, like rounds, because the main thing we need to, you know, we need to fix. And I don't know about you know number one pass rushes coming up, but the main thing we need to fix going into this next year is our pass rush. Our safety game is, you know, it, it, it's slacking a little bit. Well, it has been slacking a little bit. I think we're going to play a little bit better with Tuck and, um, you know, E.T. out there. But our pass rush, man, like, even though our secondary had some rough games, our pass rush, man, our pass rush look real junior college out there. Like, we don't even look close to an NFL pass rush right now. We're not getting pressure from anywhere. Even when we blitz, we barely get pressure. We got a little bit of pressure on since in the fourth quarter, and um, before that, I I mean Andy Dalton was really chilling. He wasn't picking us apart, but he really was just chilling most of the time. He wasn't, you know. I 
if we're not going if we're not going to sack the quarterback at least you know make it hard on him at least you know get to the point where he know he finna have to throw it but he finna have to take a shot like we don't even get a lot of them like we get like no pass rush at all it's like our pass rush is dancing with the linemen so um truth be told if cuz I, I i don't i don't think we should go after him like i don't know what his draft stock is right now I mean, it's too early to tell because, you know, a lot of stuff can change over a year's time. But if he's like a first or a second round, I wouldn't I, would, I wouldn't do it on the simple fact that we have to – I mean, we have to fix that pass rush. We have to fix that pass rush. Like I said, I don't know who's the top pass rusher coming out of this year and stuff like that, but we have to fix this pass rush because um, it's, 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 it's pretty – it's sad. Our pass rush is sad, man. And – um. Another position that we got to aim for is um, the guards position because Marshall's not going to be here yet long. Um, I know you can get good guards, like, you know, in later rounds, but, man, we, we might have to, like, you know, get our guy in the earlier round, man, because Marshall's not going to be here long, and Bozeman is not looking at good. I mean, he had his bright moments, but I think Bozeman had, like, four penalties this last week by himself. So... Yeah, I could, see, you know, what I'm saying, Eric, is I like the idea of drafting him, but as far as, like, team needs, I probably would go other way, you know, somewhere else, like, in position-wise, because, you know, it don't matter who you got back there at safety if we can't get no push, man. I mean, that's the name of the game, man. We got to, you know, that's why, that's why the price of a pass rusher is so high now. Because that's one of the most important parts of the defense now. If you got a pass rusher that can just disrupt a game, man, he can he can win you some games by himself. I mean, look at Mac. Look at JJ when he was in his prime. Look at Vaughn when he was tearing stuff up. They won a Super Bowl. It wasn't just fun, but I'm just saying. Just look at those guys and the games where they just give some just give the players a hard time. So we gotta, we gotta really, we gotta really find our way with our pass rush, man. But I like the kid. I love, I love, I love Grant. I love Grant Delp. He's a, man, he's a baller. If we can get him in later rounds, you know that'll be great. That'll be a steal. But I don't think he'll be lingering around that long. So, truth be told, if the Ravens did pick up somebody like Grant Delp, I wouldn't be mad. But like I said, position wise, I think we'll be better off. Having our, you know, our draft picks at, like, pass rushers, legit pass rushers, people that can really get out of the court after the quarterback. Even though, you know, like, we're not going to have a draft pick high as, like, the 49ers did the last few years. But look at, look, they, they've been, look at that front line, man. If we could just build our front line to be just aggressive like that front line, man, we'll be a problem with, with, with the studs that we got back there at the secondary far as Marlon and then we'll take on get back. No man, we we we'll be hard to we'll be hard to beat. So we have to fix that first. I mean, I like I like the idea, but we really have to fix the pass rush first. Because the pass rush, if you look at our defense, the pass rush is the most pitiful thing on our defense. Even in the Cleveland Brown um, game where our linebackers was running everywhere and missing every hole they could think of. The pass rush was still the most pitiful part of the defense. So, shout out to you, Eric, man. I appreciate the question. I appreciate the mailbag question, man. But, you know, it's kind of like a yay or nay thing. Like, if he, if 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 they did draft him, I wouldn't be mad. But at the same time, we need to aim at pass rushers. So, anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to the page. Hit me up on Instagram, what's to be worth 52. Hit me up on Facebook, what's the B word? Hit me up on Twitter, B word 52. For another mailbag question like this, man, you know, I salute to you, Eric, man, because I, I really been waiting on these mailbag questions, man. So, anyway, I'm going to get ready to do another vid because I got to do my preview for um the Ravens and Seattle game. And y'all look out for that. But anyway, this was the B word, man. I'm Anthony Addison, man. And I'm out.